lab guy here. You're looking at the first pictures coming out of the Philocam with the scanning circuits working. I've got the slide tape to the face of the tube again and I'm illuminating it with the LED externally and as you can see there's a lot of electrical noise coming from the switching power supply. I don't know why it's doing that but it is. As you see as I adjust the current we can adjust the noise as the regulation in the power supply adjusts itself. Now this is pretty strange. Okay, okay there we go. We have a picture there and I can adjust it somewhat and we can control it with the light too turning up the light alright and you are catching reflections on the um, on the oscilloscope screen from other light sources the um, the light from the uh, LED that's illuminating the face of the tube is bleeding through but there you go there's Philo Farnsworth himself the man congratulations Philo great tube. We are getting a picture from your tube. I'm going to apologize now for some really bad camera work, but I'm going, I'm all excited and I'm just going to drag this tripod around and show you the illumination of the face of the camera. And we're doing this live. This is a live shoot no color balance sorry folks we'll zoom back and this is the bad camera with the flaky picture as well let's get some lights on this and there we go that is the test setup we have a breadboarded video amplifier we have our 12 volt regulator there in the middle of the picture which is running our high voltage box in the background the tube is in the yoke the slide is on the tube the scan boards are there in the background you can see the cooling fan I made for the uh, high voltage box but when I change the resistor change uh, resistor chain to double the resistance I cut the load in half and now the power supply does not overheat although this one over here if you recall the let's build a power supply project this sucker is overheating come on <laughs> so uh, we can't run the camera for very long before that sucker starts to smoke but that's just the way it goes when you're an experimenter so that's how the camera is generating the picture and probably killing that LED. It's a high power LED I'm running without a heat sink. <laughs> so I thought you folks would want to see this video. Apologies again for the raw video aspect of it. But there you go. We were getting our picture on the oscilloscope over there which I just turned on. As you can see it's drifting. Let's turn the light back on and ta-da! There he is in his beautiful stripes. <laughs> and that's uh, switching noise from the switching power supply. So it's always something folks, always something. So this is Lab Guy's workbench with the first pictures coming from the Philo Cam from the breadboard video amplifier using the scanning circuits. It is May 22nd, 2019, and I have successfully constructed a working video camera with the image dissector tube. Obviously, there's a long way to go before we have this guy working completely. I have a feeling that we're never going to see live pictures with this camera if you just take one look 
at how bright that light is. It is blinding. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick look, this down and dirty look at the lab. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyways. Leave a comment if you feel moved to do so. And uh, in the meantime, lab guy out.